hey guys hope you all doing well so today we will study about cardiac cycle okay so it's very important topic so let's start before starting you all know what to do like and share my videos and subscribe my channel okay so it's very important topic if they ask you this question you will write the answer in the following pattern so we will start with meaning of cardiac cycle okay let's see one complete heartbeat consisting of consisting of one contraction and relaxation of the heart okay okay one heartbeat is equal to one time contraction of the heart and one time relaxation of the heart now what's that mean okay so we all know heart is a pumping organ okay heart is a pumping organ it pumps out the blood okay it fills with blood and then pumps out the blood right so one time contraction contraction means shrinking you know reducing in size so contraction means reducing in size it's squeezing okay so blood when it contracts in in uh, you know in case of cardiac system blood uh, you know pushed out of the heart right pushed out of the heart so for pushing out the blood it has to contract right so if we see a uh, you know a chamber of heart any of the chamber of heart is contracting it means it's pushing the blood out of that uh, you know chamber right okay so contraction means pushing the blood out of you know pushing the blood removing the blood and relaxing means filling with blood okay suppose right now the atrium is you know uh, from the atrium the blood is flowing to the ventricles okay from the atrium blood is flowing to the ventricle so right now atrium is you know squeezing or atrium is contracting so that the blood is pushed out to the ventricles and ventricles are relaxing so that blood can come and fill fill the ventricles okay so contracting means pushing the blood and relaxing means filling with the blood okay i hope that's clear so one time contracting means one time pushing the blood and one time relaxing means one time filling with the blood one contraction and one relaxation equals to one heartbeat okay and that means one cardiac cycle one time one cardiac cycle equals to one time contraction and one time relaxation okay yeah i hope the meaning is clear now definition the cardiac cycle includes both electrical and cardiac cycle includes thus uh, includes both electrical and mechanical events that occur from the ending of ending of one heartbeat to the beginning of next means ending one heartbeat is ending okay one time heartbeat is ending now the uh, second heartbeat will start between the two heartbeat the time between two heartbeat is called cardiac cycle the time between two heartbeat is called cardiac cycle okay the time between two heartbeats now the second definition the rhythmic contraction means systole and relaxation means diastole of the chambers of heart okay means rhythmic it, it is a rhythmic process no one time contraction and relaxation they, then again contraction and relaxation this is called the you know this uh, one time contracting and one time relaxing this thing is called cardiac cycle okay now the duration of one cardiac cycle what's that mean means between two heart beats the time duration okay so normal heart rate if you see then 70 beats per minute right approximately so one uh, you know one minute equals to 60 seconds so if we divide that so 60 by 75 75 beats per minute 60 by 75 beat, uh, beats per minute is equal to 0 0.8 second so means one cardiac cycle is 0 0.8 second means within you know between two uh, two heartbeat the time between two heartbeat is 0 0.8 second okay the time between two heart beat okay now the cardiac cycle is divided into two portion which is atrial cycle 
atrium cycle you can also say atrial cycle and ventricular cycle okay now atrium are the upper chamber of the heart and ventricles are the lower chamber of the heart right so atrium cycle and ventricular cycle okay atrium cycle is further divided into two portion which is atrial systole means atrium is contracting one time and atrial diastole means atrium is relaxing one time 0 0.1 second and 0 0.7 second 0 0.1 means atrial systole is contracting for atrium is contracting for 0 0.1 second and atrium is relaxing for 0 0.7 second okay about ventricular cycle today we will only focus on atrial cycle that's why i'm telling you this and when i will uh, on my next video i will tell you about ventricle cycle so we will study that in detail okay okay so let's start atrial cycle okay atrial cycle consists atrial systole means atrium is contracting right now so duration of atrium contract contraction okay 0 0.1 second means atrium is contracting means atrium is pushing the blood to the ventricles is 0 0.1 second okay so for 0 0.1 second atrium is contracting you know squeezing the blood to the ventricles okay so now right now during this time 0 0.1 second for 0 0.1 second the av veils are open av veils means arterioventicular veils mean bicus uh, you know tricuspid and bicuspid and tricuspid valve okay so bicuspid and tricuspid veils are bicuspid and tricuspid veils mean arterioventicular veils are open they are like doors okay they are just giving the you know passage for blood so that the blood can come out from atrium to the ventricle okay so yeah av veils are open and now se semi lunar veils are closed semi lunar veils are closed semi lunar veils means pulmonary and aortic valve okay pulmonary and aortic valves these are closed right okay and blood is flowing from atria into the ventricles for 0 0.1 second blood is flowing from the atrium to the ventricles and this time the pressure here in the atrium is increasing right so intra arterial pressure is 4 to 6 mm of hg if we you know check the pressure here then it's 4 to 6 mm hg yes sorry for the interruption so uh, the you know intraarterial pressure is increasing right now because the you know atriums are contracting and pushing the blood into the ventricle so if we check the pressure it's 4 to 6 mm of hg okay and when the intraarterial pressure is increasing that time we record a wave there is a wave called a wave okay and this wave i will explain you when i will you know when i will tell you about the ecg right uh, in cardiac cycle only in in this topic only i will explain it later in detail right now just understand this just remember that a wave is recorded when the pressure is increasing and it reach up to 4 to 6 mm of hg okay and no communication between the ventricles and aorta and the uh, pulmonary pulmonary artery right okay so here the semilunar wave there is no communication between the uh, ventricles and the semilunar waves okay and there is communication only between the atrium and ventricles okay there is no communication between this okay so i hope the atrial systole is clear okay atrium is contracting and pushing the blood from atrium to the ventricles for 0 0.1 second it's contracting and here the 4 to pressure is 4 to 6 mm of hg and in this time we you know uh, record a wave which is a wave and yeah that's all okay i will explain the rest of the topic on my next part of the video thank you